Hi friends! So I've given you guys a different um, amount of resources that you guys can use. Some of you, you might not have access to a printer or um, you don't have a printer um, or whatever the case may be. So I was thinking that I'd put a few of our games together um, so you guys can play at home. These are all just things that I found around the house. Uh, mostly of it was for my kitchen. But um, as you guys know, we don't do a ton of uh, worksheets at school anyways so uh we do a lot of our stations and hands-on games um i mean how many of you guys thinking about a worksheet how many of you can actually say oh i remember when i learned that from a worksheet usually not the case it's usually oh i remember when we played that game um so i have a few different things lined out for you guys super easy should be um pretty much around your house um so one of them that the kids have already been familiar with um is a game called splash so I took the snap words, I just uh, wrote it on a piece of paper, cut them up, and then I also added a few pieces in here that say splash. Um, you don't need to underline it, but that say splash. Um, so you just cut them up, put them in a bowl, bucket, whatever you have, um, literally a mixing bowl. So have your kiddo pick one. Okay, they have to read it correctly. Her, they get to keep it. Awesome, your turn. You read it correctly, keep it. Um, their turn was, they read it correctly, keep it. If not, it goes back in. Um, go, keep going back and forth with turns. But then, uh-oh, they pulled a splash. So splash, doesn't matter if they can read it. Great that they can read it. Um, it has, you know, digraphs in there. But you pulled a splash, all of the ones that you have have to go back in. Um, if you really hype it up, the kids like love it. And if you're gonna say like, oh, you're gonna get more than me, or I have almost as much as you, um, or when it's their turn, say, oh, you're gonna pick a splash this time. And then when they don't pick the splash, they think it's hilarious um, because you were wrong. And they love when, it, <laughs> when that happens. Uh, so that's a really easy one that you guys can do. And then another one is I got just a baking dish and um, a blank piece of paper, wrote different snap words on it. And then you can get um, sugar, flour, uh, rice, even sprinkles would be cute. Um, and just take it and pour all over it. Um, a, at least a good like centimeter, centimeter of a layer. And then um, you can take some kind of little spatula, a spoon, um, whatever you have around or even their finger. And they take it um, and just try to find a snap word. So I can try to show you. Um, so I was digging, oh, I found the word he. Okay, so I have my paper and my pencil and now I just write down the word he. Okay, cover that one up. Now I need to go find another one. Oh, nothing there. Oh, I started starting to see one. Oh, the word have. I found it. Now I get to write down the word have and keep going and going and going. Um, and you guys can write different words on different pieces of paper. Um, so that way they, it doesn't get tiring to them. Um, and it's always something new. I would only do the same paper maybe three times. Um, but keep them so you can flip them out throughout the different days. All right. Another one is, oh, Cheerios. So have your words just written on some flashcards, have them in a pile. Um, so we have our flashcards written and get Cheerios, um, any type of cereal or whatever. Super easy. Um, this can be like as a snack too. So I picked the word have. Awesome. I'm going to spell out the word have with my Cheerios. Okay, making my H, make the line all the way down, back up and over, and then have them spell out the whole word, and then you can say, oh, you spelled the word, great, awesome, you can eat those Cheerios now. So that's super easy, um, and they always love food, so anything to do with food is awesome. Uh, the next one is a memory game, so have uh, two sets of the flashcards, put them down, pretty simple memory game, uh, pick them up was that tall oh man i didn't get it okay your turn all right have have oh awesome i get to keep these that counts as one point so there's that um you can also take these and do a little scavenger hunt to get them moving um so take these 
fold them up, put them in an egg, um, or just uh, put them on a bright piece of color paper, something like that, and go pick either one room throughout the house, maybe just your living room, or pick all throughout the house, um, and they have to go find the words. And then when they you know, think they found enough, they can come back to you and then read them to you. Um, and a cool thing was with this and also the memory game, however many words that they can correctly read or correctly find, um, they can earn like one word could be one minute for screen time. Cause the whole idea is we're trying to really limit the screen time. So one word I have was, I got one minute of screen time either on my iPad or to watch a show or something like that. And then one last thing that you guys can do to um, reuse the um, sugar flour, whatever you do, is get all of your words together, um, have them in a little thing and have a, um, the sugar all over, take their finger, take a marker, whatever you want, um, and they spell the words. So what, W, H, A, T, ooh, awesome. Okay, re racey, racey, race. Next one was W, A, S, and it looks really cool, it's super fun. Um, you can mix in sprinkles to make it look really cute. Uh, so those are a few different options that you guys can do at home. Again, I found everything like literally in my kitchen. Um, but also remember, this is a big learning curve for everyone, um, all the distance learning, and honestly, anything is great. So don't um, be upset with yourself or beat yourself up or anything if you're not doing everything above and beyond. Pick one of these and do it, great. Uh, read a book, great. Like anything that you're doing to um, promote any kind of academic learning, that's awesome. It doesn't need to be the whole six and a half hours that we're usually in school. So anything that you're doing, awesome, keep it up. Hopefully we get to see you guys um, soon and we can do this back in the classroom. All right, see you guys.